Hello guys, thank you for joining. Um, today I am jumping on a hashtag which has been created by the lovely Logan of Lark and Legend and the hashtag is My Forever Dex and quote Logan's words, Dex that will be half to prize from my cold dead hands. So um, I've been looking through um, my, well some of my collection anyway and these are the decks that um, I reach for a lot. Um, some of them are, well, hang on, there's one, two, maybe three that are recent requirements. So I've done a mixture of um, Tarot, um, Oracle and a Lenormand deck. So these are the ones, um, one of them comes with me everywhere and the others um, have got like a special meaning. So uh, I will um, kind of crack on and show you what I've got. So the first one is, um, it's not in the box because I like to keep my most used decks in bags. So my first one is the Lioness Oracle Tarot, uh, which I have had for a few years now, maybe five, six years. Um, I absolutely adore uh, the creator's work. Um, I've actually got all of their work. Um, and it's just it's just a deck that totally speaks to me. The collage art, everything. Um, and one of the main things that really sold me on my deck on the deck to use is the star card. Um, it, I just. I don't know what it is. I'm, I'm I'm a sucker for collage artwork. I always have been ever since the Voyager Tarot burst onto the scene in the early eighties. Um, and collage artwork is my favourite kind of um deck to use. Um, it always has been. I don't know why. There's something really like kind of special about it. And yeah, I mean this deck is like just everything to me. I mean I've read for so many people with this. Um everything about it it's just like really really special and unique um so let me show you the star card and the reason why i fell in love with the deck in the first place it's got to be at the bottom because isn't that always the way um so you've got a mixture of kind of like you know different styles on here as well you know um different pieces different mediums um and and this is what i love about it because like i mean that is just, you know, so minimalist um, for me, but you can get, oh, I can get so much from that card. Um, so let me find you the star card. Uh, da -da. Right, okay. The star card doesn't want to be found clearly today, but I'm sure we will come across it. So the creator has done the Stars Divine and also an Oracle deck as well, um, which I says I have, and they all work perfectly seamlessly together. Um, and this one for me gives like incredible reads and I think it always will. Um, I've took this a lot of places with me since I've had it. Um, it normally lives in my bag, um, you know, just in case, you never know, do you? And I'm actually uh, taking this one along with another one tonight because I'm actually doing um, some face-to-face -face readings, which I haven't done for a long time. Um, so it will be interesting. Right, there we go, Mr. Bowie. Um, so there, that's what kind of like sold me on the whole deck. I thought, well, if Davy Bowie's in the deck, um, you know, I've got to have it. So what perfect depiction of the star card than the star man himself. Um, Ziggy Stardust, David Bowie. So this is one of the reasons why I fell in love with this deck. So this is definitely one I will never, ever, ever part with. Um, you can see it's been quite used over the years. Um, and it just it's just gorgeous. So that is my first forever deck anyway. I haven't included decks that like I've shown before, you know, from like friends who sent me, you know, creators and, you know, like Levi and Danny. And other people because you've already seen that i mean i've obviously got a special place um but like i mean these are the ones that like i would honestly yeah never ever get rid of um my second deck uh i have had since 2007 and this is the playing cards oracles and playing card oracles and these are by anna cortez and the illustrations were done by her father um 
US Games actually published this um, back in the day. I think they still do. And I had this one, the larger size, and the guidebook as well. And this completely changed my changed the ball game for how I read playing cards. Um, Anna's book is absolutely incredible. Um, you know, it's still available, I think, anyway. Um, but I have had this for years. So I've had this, what, 2007, 16, 17 years. Um, and this is one of my most loved decks. Um, it was just something different at the time. Um, it was unique um, and explains the whole kind of you know, process of uh, cartomancy in Anna's book. It's a different kind, um, but it's so easy to pick up. Um, and this gives incredible readings as well. Um, there's something really, really special about the whole deck. Um, I don't know, something kind of magical about it, you know. So, you know, the cards are all in different order. Um, and it's just... <sighs> one of the most amazing decks I've ever used. So this one um, used to come everywhere with me at one time. Um, it's now always at hand. I always know where it is and I use it all the time. I have got like, two extra backup copies of it, you know, just in case. Um, but this is my very first original deck um, that I had back in the day. And yeah, it's just like, I mean, Anybody else who uses it, I'd love to hear in the comments underneath um, what you think of it, um, because I absolutely adore it. So thank you to Anna Cortez for bringing something unique and special out in the world like this. So that is my second deck. Um, my third deck I've recently acquired, and this is the Mildred Payne Secret Pocket Oracle. Um... I have got the purple Scions edition, and but I wanted obviously, of course, I, because it's me. I wanted the the normal sized one. Well, the, the you know the normal kind of um, coloured one. So obviously, I mean everybody's seen this, um, but I have done four readings of this for myself, and it's just incredible. Um, it's a mixture between all sort, all kinds of systems really. Uh, linen ones. Uh, Oracle, um, old cartomancy systems, um, it's just amazing, I absolutely love it, um, it doesn't come with a guidebook, but you can, um, download the PDF from Patrick's website, um, and it's brilliant, I've stapled mine together, and yeah, this is one of those decks that will be with me forever, too, um, it just, you know, some of the cards are very self-explanatory, um, you know, you don't need to come from any particular background, you know, like a, a system. You can just pick this deck up and, and basically read it out of the box. Um, but like, I mean, the PDF is a must, um, just to see if you've, you know, missed any details out. But this is one of the most special decks I have in my collection. So that is the third one I've got. Um... And along with obviously the Deviant Moon Tarot and the others I've got, uh, I love all Patrick's work. So uh, yeah, they will always be special decks in my collection. Now, one deck I've had for a long time as well uh, is this special little Spirit Speak Tarot. Um, and I just love it. It's designed by Mary Elizabeth Evans and this is 2014. And I actually had this from Little Red Tarot in 2014. Um, and I have done hundreds of readings with this over the years. Um, this is the, um, there was another version, black, um, white on black. This is the black on white. And um, sadly, I didn't get um, the black cards. Um, I wish I had it done now. But my cards have kind of yellowed, you know, a little bit with age. Um, I love the, the rawness of Mary's artwork. Um, it's just incredible um there's a tiny little lovely guidebook with it as well you know that explains all the cards done in mary's signature like kind of folk art raw style um and this is an incredibly special deck um to me because um when i was sick um this kind of helped me to focus and open my intuition and yeah it's you know 
this has been with me through a particular dark time in my life. Um, and it was like a friend uh, at the time, you know. I used to journal with his cards and, you know, kind of like join up the dots, make stories. And it will always be an incredibly special deck to me. So I'm not sure whether you can get this still or not. Um, it may or may not be out of print. Um, but you can find um, Spirit Speak over on Instagram. Um, so I'm sure if you click the link in their bio, um, you'll be able to kind of see whether the deck's still available. So yeah, that is in my top five decks, I think, maybe, of all time. Um, and it's incredibly special to me. Right, so the next three are recent requirements. Um, one, I add in a trade from the lovely Mel of House and Hag. Um, and it was obviously meant to be um, because this deck, the Hidden Light Tarot, is like kind of everything. Um, I absolutely adore it. Um, again, it's kind of a mixed media deck. This really kind of like... I don't know, I was looking at the images um, and I thought, oh, I can see things that I know these intuitive hits come to me, the cards are named, it's just incredibly special. Um, I've been working with this more or less every day, um, but it's one of these decks I don't want to share with anybody else, you know. Um, <laughs> it's like, you know, like a personal self-reading deck um, and I just love it. And it doesn't come with a little white book either, um, but like, I mean... You know, there's this one and the Talisman Tarot. I want the Talisman Tarot as well by the same creator. So, uh, yeah, if anybody's got a spare copy, they want to trade in the UK, um, let me know. I've always got decks up for trade. So, uh, this is just one of those decks, um, which, again, um, kind of gets my intuitive juices flowing i don't know what war it is um again i think it's because like it's collage work and mixed media um and i think i found my kind of like happy place with decks like this um, and I, I like the rawness of them and i like the fact that they're not all polished and done digitally um you know there's a process like a huge process to doing something like this um and i think it shines through in the cards and yeah the devil's name bondage um i love that and it's just lovely absolutely blooming lovely so that is my um other deck that i will keep forever and thank you to the wonderful mel for the trade and because you know when you trade with somebody you know it's nice because you haven't got to pay all the shipping costs and if a deck doesn't like kind of vibe with somebody, it's always going to vibe with somebody else. So, um, yeah, I am so glad that I've got this deck now. And, um, yeah, I'm always look on the lookout for new kind of collage decks. Right, so, my next deck uh, I had from a dear friend of mine. Um, and this is uh, a tarot de Marseille, Jean Daudal. And it's by Cynthia Puertas. And... This is a deck that they made, kind of redrawn, recolored, and this is just I absolutely love the colours in this deck. Um, they pop. I love the turquoise and everything about it. I use this a lot. Um, I have there's another sun card to this as well, by the way. Um, it's just. It's a major zone in Marseille, um, and I just love it. It really is um, one of the most beautiful um, redrawings of the Tarot de Marseille. Well, the Dodel. Dodel. Um, and I, d I don't know, there's something kind of uniquely special about it. I love the facial expressions, um, the gazes. Yeah, I'm a sucker for gazes and the way uh, facial expressions are on um, Tarot de Marseille decks. Um, I absolutely adore that star card there and it just for me um it's like everything um a tarot de marseille deck um should be and it's just simple straight to the point um no unnecessarily unnecessary symbols added 
um, they have um, stuck to traditional uh, line drawings of the um, Dodal and it is incredible. Uh, the backs are also lovely and the cardstock is absolutely beautiful as well. Um, so this is one I reach for um, all the time. Out of all the Tarot de Mossade decks I do have, this is the one that is most used by me. Um, because you can get just as many read well good readings um intense readings with 22 majors um you know instead of using the, um the minors um so you can get just as good readings with you know just the majors so um yeah this is just the best so thank you to 78 puertas uh, for this deck um it is absolutely amazing Right now, my last one, but not least, is a recent requirement. Um, I'll say recent, last year, I think it was, year before maybe. And this is the Gulliver Lenormand's I Love Woodcuts and um, Lino Print. And this is just an amazing Lenormand deck. Um, you've got the playing card symbols at the top and the images are black and white again. There's no unnecessary symbolism in here at all. Um, which I like to, like Logan's Lenormand decks, are like clean, simple, plain. I don't like to see scenes going on in the backgrounds. Um, like that one, a book is just the book. Um, a snake is just the snake. And, and I think that's how it should be because like it just deters from the reading. So all these pretty Lenormand decks, even though they are pretty, like the fairy tale Lenormand, the steampunk one as well. You know, I would never be able to use anything like that. Um, because I mean, it just doesn't uh, cut it for me. Um, I like symbolism. Um, and plain and simple. And you know, this is the way it should be for me. And it reads like a dream. I can just look at the card and know what it is straight away. Um. Between this one and Logan's, these are the, this is the two Lenormand uh, decks I read. Hang on, let me just, just get that one because it's right here by me. Um, this is Logan's Black Salt Lenormand. Um, and again, it's just simple, it's plain. A symbol is a symbol, the words underneath, um, and that's all you need. Um, and obviously, put the playing card symbols on as well. Um, yeah, so... Yes, I'm going to do a right. This is a joint thing now, right? So <laughs> it's just, I don't know. I just like looked at this and I thought, oh, you know, I could have chose that one instead, but you know, um, yeah. So, like, this is a joint one. I'm cheating here. This is a joint, um, forever deck thing, um, because like this is obviously, uh, one of my favorite Lenormand decks, um, because it was gifted to me by Logan as well. So that's always kind of special as well. So these are my last two decks. It should have been one, but it went up to two. Um, you know, I could carry on all day. I've probably got, I don't know, about 50 decks I've never part with, but like, you know, I've got to keep this short and sweet. Um, so yeah, I hope you can join in on the hashtag, um, which is forever decks. Um, I'll, I'll put the details in the bottom, um, underneath in the description box, and obviously link Logan's original video. So I hope you enjoyed it, folks. I'm looking forward to you sharing yours. Um, it's always lovely to see, you know, what people will hold on to forever, I suppose. Um, you know, and why you chose to, like, kind of hang on to it. So thank you very much for watching. This has been lovely. And I'll see you all soon. Enjoy your day wherever you are in the world. Stay safe, take care, and send in love. Bye, guys.